little bit ago, I pulled this nasty camshaft out of my engine and replaced it with the beautiful Edelbrock 2122 camshaft and lifters. Now what I need to do is break in my new camshaft. So what we're gonna talk about today is the four things that you need to look out for when you're breaking in your camshaft on a flat tap it cam. Welcome back to the garage, the place where we are making your Bronco, your dream Bronco, or turning your Ford small block 302 into a beast of horsepower goodness. If you haven't seen it, I uh, pulled out this camshaft out of my 1975 Ford Bronco and I put in a new Edelbrock 2122 camshaft and lifter set, timing chain, new harmonic balancer, it was fantastic. If this is your first time here and uh, you haven't checked out any of those videos, I'd love to have you subscribe. I'm putting out how-to videos for the weekend mechanic and providing the Bronco entertainment for the Bronco community, but also, you know, the, the 302 upgrade entertainment as well. If you like this video or if you found it helpful, give it a little thumbs up. Here are my four things that you want to focus on when you're breaking in your camshaft. Number one, zinc. Zinc is a super important thing. I'm not going to get into all the scientific chemistry because I don't even understand it all. Years ago when vehicle manufacturers started putting catalytic converters on the, on the cars and your exhaust system, what they noticed is that the zinc in the oil was actually like clogging up the catalytic converters. Instead of figuring out why it's doing that, they just said, hey, let's just pull all the zinc out of our engine oils of today and run cars without zinc. Cars have been running great without zinc. It's not a problem, but on your older model flat tap it camshaft, zinc is super important. Whatever you do, whatever oil you put in there, just make sure to get a zinc additive. <laughs> I'm doing this <laughs> because I already put it in my engine and I forgot to keep the bottle. <laughs> Number two, prime the oil system. Basically what you want to do is take your valve covers off and I've seen people do this with an old distributor. I've found that uh, just a long rod on uh, my drill works. You just engage this in there and start spinning it and what that does is it draws the oil up through the push rods and gets it out of the rockers. So this is just priming your system so that everything stays lubricated. You don't want any metal on metal parts. These are new, brand new metal parts and you wanna do everything you can to keep them as lubricated as possible. And if you notice that a couple rockers aren't getting oil, you can you know, just rotate the engine and keep doing this and see if that gets those rockers lubricated. Now the third thing that you want to do when you're breaking in your camshaft is you want to make sure that you keep your RPMs up at a higher range. I would say like 1500 to 3000 range. And the reason that you want to keep it up there is on these uh, flat tap it cams on a Ford 302, um, your camshaft doesn't have like a pressurized um, oil lobing, you know, lubrication kind of system. It's relying on the crankshaft to literally splash oil up from the oil pan and splash it onto the camshaft. So that's why it's super important to keep your RPMs up because at idle, uh, your crankshaft isn't splashing enough oil to really keep your camshaft lubed well enough during that break-in process. So you keep your RPMs 1500, uh, 3000, and what you wanna do is you're, you're gonna run your engine for about 20 minutes on the first time, and immediately you gotta get on the throttle and, and get it up into that 2500, 2000 RPM range. The first 20 minutes of the camshaft's life is like the most important of your camshaft. Like you can literally just destroy your camshaft uh, in the first 20 minutes of running it. You know, it's it's like we've we've got a child that we're raising, you know, like that those first 18 years are the most important of this child's life. And if you don't treat the child right in those first 18 years, 
That child's gonna end up being a crack smoking stripper named LaFonda who has seven kids from nine different men. When you're running through RPMs for those 20 minutes, you don't wanna do quick, uh, you know, RPM jumps. You don't wanna go high to low real quick or low to high real quick. You just want it to be smooth and you want to get a, a variety, you know, don't just, Stick it on, you know, stick a piece of wood on your uh, throttle and leave it there for 20 minutes and walk away. Like, be listening to it and, and be, uh, you know, alternating. I'll be doing it with the throttle uh, cable. I'll also have a piece of wood in there so that it doesn't dip below uh, like 1500 uh, range if I let go on the throttle. Um, but just just be, be alternating it and varying it up. I'm not going to show all 20 minutes. I'll show like, you know, a couple seconds of it just so you get an idea. Um, but you don't need to watch 20 minutes of me revving my engine, you know, or keeping the RPMs at 2,500 RPMs. And that brings us to the fourth thing that I want to talk about when you're breaking in your camshaft and that is change your oil. So uh, during this process, you know, you have a brand new piece of metal. You know, I made sure everything was clean when I went in there and I covered it with the assembly lube, but there's still gonna be like those metal shavings that are falling off uh, through this process. There's just gonna be stuff that's happening that you want to change your oil. So I'm gonna change my oil two times in this process. One, after this 20 minute break in, I'm gonna change my oil, and then another time after the 500 mile mark, after I've driven this for 500 miles. And again, you just have, you have new parts in there, new pieces in there um, that can bring contaminants, but also want to, during this break-in process, remember the first 20 minutes, the first 500 miles are so important to these new pieces um, and you just bought that you don't want to break. Um, and so you want to make sure that it's good, fresh, clean oil that's going on there. Keep adding that zinc in. It's going to help your flat tappet camshaft. But that's it. Those are my four tips for breaking in the camshaft. Let's get this thing fired up and uh, let's see how it does. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, appreciate it. Let me know if you have any questions. Leave it in the comments below. All right, let's get going.